All right, so we're doing a test run right now. Let's find out how this goes. Izzy's gonna have to turn off the music before I get demonetized and shit, and I get kicked the fuck out, and they have my balls hanging. Dale, pai. Say something, you fuck in my mouth. Yo, this setup is crazy right now. Uh. Yo, welcome everybody. We back on this talking shit podcast. So it's been a fucking minute, you know, since we did one. But I hit up my man Iz. I was like, yo, let me pick you up early, bro. Tell me how this motherfucker had me waiting an hour, bro. An hour. And on top of that shit, we get to the shop. And guess what? He fucking lives his iPad at home. So I had to take my fucking merry ass all the way back to his crib. So all together it took a, a, literally a 30-minute drive became a two-hour two-hour wait and drive, but at least I got to wash my car, shout out to fucking the wash experts on, um, what, McDonald Avenue? Yeah, they're, is that, they, is that what they call themselves, the wash experts? Yeah, they fucking legit, bro, they a whole bunch of biceps, bro, but, um, which one, the one up the, um, up the avenue, or by King's Highway? No, the one up. Okay, okay The yeah. one that has brushless, you know, I don't, I don't let my car get touched. Said brushless. Yeah, I don't, I don't let fucking, you know, when you go through the conveyor belt that's what they call it conveyor belt and it has brushes on mm-hmm. that shit fucks up your paint bro for real yeah it um, leaves like micro scrapes or scratches on your paint and shit yeah it fucks up your car bro so mm-hmm. that's why I'd rather pay a premium how and much then you, how much you pay for that shit well when I do the exterior it's about I think 26 bucks that's I think bad. 26 that's bad but when I wanna go full <laughs> bone deep in it bro and I wanna fucking treat myself like I'm like I'm driving a fucking Rolls Royce I take it to um Formula mm-hmm. Auto Auto Care in um, Queens that's uh expensive it's like one of those um but that but that shit bro yeah they give you coffee and everything with that shit or nah? I don't really stay for the coffee bro but I go eat around there and shit like I'll go there's a oh damn bro let me see if I got that card bro I'm gonna shout them out this fucking coffee shop bro that's over there in Queens. Mm-hmm. They paisas, bro. It's run by paisas, B. Let me shout this out, bro. Kenship Coffee Roasters. That's what they call themselves? Yeah, bro. That's what they are. Yo, bro, they're coffee. This nigga got a punch card. Oh, my God. Yeah, bro. I have a punch card for a couple of coffee shops. I even have a punch card for um for um for Hungry Wolf. Hungry Fox, I mean. Which, which one is that one? Hungry Fox. That's another coffee shop. This guy. And then I have a punch card too for um the other one. There's another one by in Manhattan, you see? It's called Blackstone. They also their shit is strong as fuck though. Oh yeah. yeah so strong, strong like as that fuck. bitter Aki Aki. No, uh, no, no, no. This shit is flavorful, bro, but I'm talking about that shit got mad caffeine, like you fucking be up, bro. You're like, uh, like you twitching. Shit? Yeah, like you, you twitching, twitching, bro. You like twitching. Butter chin all day and shit type shit. I guess if that co- what coffee does to you, it don't do it to me, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> We're not all built the same way, you this know? fucking guy. But yeah, bro, tell everybody why you took so long today, bro. Um, He was... Yeah, right, if he was I was washing my balls thoroughly, just like he explained about his car. Huh? So, you know... And I always tell him in Spanish, de los lavas, which translate to wash it. Wash it. So I was washing it thoroughly, you know, because I don't want no micro scrapes on my balls. <laughs> <laughs> He has to make sure he catches all that um, schmegma off the cock, you, you, you know? know. You gotta, you gotta get that's all what that, happens. All that lint out, you know. I'm a little older, so fuck it, you know. You get some lint. Where are we talking know? about, you know? Y'all motherfuckers don't understand. Uncircumcised yeah. dicks, Yo, you know. The we, struggle is real. The struggle is super real, you know. You don't fuck want, it. You don't want niggas catching some uh, some cottage cheese on the domes, you know. But hey, if shorty comes through and she wants to suck the cottage cheese, hey, who hey, am I to stop you? This fucking guy. <laughs> That's some fucking uh, yogurt cheese right there. Some cottage cheese. Oh, you yeah. know yogurt is good for you, right? <laughs> but yeah, that's why it took long. But we good now. And then we forgot the um, the fucking iPad because I do tattoos. So, but we're here now and uh, talking shit was cool last time we did it. And uh, we're just gonna talk shit about anything. Hopefully we don't get banned. By the way, you know if there's haters out there, and if you've ever 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 fucking reported somebody like you should jump off a fucking building bro because it's like who does that who takes the time to report somebody on instagram like what the fuck you see i do tattoos so my stuff is body art i got fucking uh 
uh, blacklisted right now from, I can't go on live because some dickhead decided to fucking um, report one of my pics, but I blocked everything out. It's it's a pussy pic, but we uh, we covered our areas and somebody reported it. Uh, they were saying that we were uh, uh, promoting prostitution and some other shit, but yeah, yeah, that's what they said. Prostitution. Where's that two shot? We're showing everything, you know? Of course, because Instagram doesn't have, like, has that bullshit um, fucking uh, guidelines. But I covered the nips. I covered uh, pretty much everything. Well, you couldn't see anything, guys. If y'all really want to know, you couldn't see shit. But, I, hey, this is coming from another head that my shit right now, I've been blocked from going live for three months. One is for sharing a post, reposting technically, well, not technically, fucking, I reposted a Joe Rogan on my storyline. And they haven't even blocked that motherfucker. But they can't. It's Joe Rogan, B. That's what I'm saying, though. Bro, I started seeing, like, after I got blocked, like, I can't go on live. I started seeing a whole bunch of coochie pics, bro. A whole bunch of fucking tattoos where they're showing the whole... The whole titty, of course, the um the nipple was covered, but it's not called a nipple, you know. But, bro, it's like what the fuck? Like no, bro. I started seeing a whole bunch of like, even more explicit than mines, bro. So, you know, I, I don't know. I like. I mean, I feel. I feel discriminated. <laughs> no, I'm actually. <laughs> I'm actually happy that I have a hater. I guess I'm doing something right, you know, because I'm always talking about how there's a whole bunch of motherfuckers out there that want to fucking. That are watching the trends that I do, the little stuff that I do, and I feel like sometimes I feel like a like a broken record because niggas motherfuckers don't believe me, you know. They don't and, believe um, the sauce, you know. And it's just like, but now now it's like, why would you take the time of day and and and, and go report my stuff like that? Let's get out of here, bro. I'm like you know, that's that's a weird old thing right there. Like, you take time off your day to actually come and report a simple pick. I just, I've never done that. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I'm not a hater like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's your taking energy of your day to just fuck up somebody's, uh, uh, you know, wave or energy. And it's like, like, what the fuck? You know? Like, have some boss step up to the dude or come to the shop and be like, yo, I fucking hate you. And, you know, we could shoot a fair one. But, bro, you know, I would, I would, I would respect people more if that was the case. Like, you show up at the shop. I was like, yo, was good. Throw a fair one, you know? Even if I don't win, at least I know, like you know what? Just throw a fair one? Just throw a fair one. I don't just care. Just throw a fair one? Just throw a fair one, you know? That's the old school way, bro. Like, you know, and then you squash beefs, and that's it. But to go out of the day and do some sneaky shit like that, like, that's fucked up, you know? I don't I don't fuck with people like that. But hey. I have an idea who who, who might have done it, so. I mean, I guess whatever. Yeah, I do. I, do. I don't know who did it for me, bro, but you know? still. But that's the whole thing. Like, they're pussy. They wouldn't come over here and just like, you know, like. But what happens is they are pussy and they tell you to take this pussy. <laughs> I won't take that pussy. I'll, t- yeah. I'll take this man pussy. Nah. The pussy? The pussy? <laughs> the pussy? Nah, I'm not taking no, man, take the pussy. no man's pussy. Nah, that's a wild shit. Yo, bro, talking about pussies, bro. Have you seen some of these guys' fucking butts, bro? Shout out to fucking... My man, when boredom strikes, they put up a video of this dude with his fat ass, bro, y'all. For real? Yo, bro. Nah, I haven't this seen This dude it. got cheeks, B. Oh, my God, Like, bro. cheeks. I'm not talking about cheeks. I'm talking about, like, fucking cheeks. Bite. If you was to see the cheeks only. And, and, like, it's a, and it's a dude? It's a dude, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm like, not watching that shit, bro. I'm, I'm 100% sure he clapping them shits, bro. Oh, like, he wow, clap. Like, it'll go. Bro. <laughs> Like those, like the, like those girls with the videos who who clap. I'm talking about his shit is legit firm, bro. Like his oh, nah. his shit is clapping, clapping, bro. You're looking at that shit too closely, bro. I'll go fuck, bro. I'm just saying, like cheeks is, yo. Damn, oh. you ever work with a fucking beefy? What do you mean beefy? Like a like no, a... the dude beefy. Who's that? Beefy, damn Dominican dude, who used to work with us. I don't think you met beefy. No, I don't think I my met. man had cheeks, bro, like that. Dude had cheeks. Wow, that's crazy, bro. Cheeks, bro. Like, like how you have how you have that much cheek, bro? Yo, cheeks, Yo, my man. My neighbor across the street, bro. Uh-huh. He's like Italian and Greek. He got more more ass than his wife does, bro. Where? Bro, that's some crazy shit. He huh? got cheeks too, bro. <laughs> I, th- I think he's half black or something because yo, bro, he got cheeks, cheeks bro. Yo, and, like, you think- shout out to all you guys with cheeks. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. No, I'm I'm just hating because I ain't got no cheeks, bro. Like I'm a fucking... flat boy. 
I ain't got no. You said I'm a, I'm a flat boy. I ain't got nothing to grab on. So you know, even you know, what I mean? but pardon, out. pardon the uh, the uh, the verbiage. Uh, you know, we're from New York, so we grow up different than other other places. So we throw certain words left and right out <laughs> out the window. Um, if anybody gets offended, we don't really mean it. So. Damn, do we really have to throw a disclaimer on talking Bro. shit? Bro. Yo, talking shit. Yo, if y'all haven't caught the talking shit, or but, oh, I forgot we got to change the name because talking shit is like a side thing we do, and then we was going to call it the butt hurt report. The butt hurt report. That's that's a good one too. The butt hurt report because people probably are gonna get butt hurt, and you know they always do. They always do. It. Um... I also, you know, just to go on the butt hurt report right now. Um, I'm also currently like kind of blocked from going on YouTube as well. So I don't know how the fuck I'm getting blocked from YouTube with my ass only having um like thirty views on on YouTube, but it's cool. It's cool whoever is, you know, reporting my ass on YouTube. It's all right. And at least I can't get blocked on... Have I? I No, I haven't got blocked on, um, on, on like, podcast platforms, which is good because the numbers are nice, but... I was going to do a YouTube thing, but then I was like... Nah, YouTube. Yo, you know what I wanted to do? Twitch, but then Twitch is on some shit too now, bro. I mean, it, you know you know what it is? It's all this... And I hate to say it, though, bro, because, um, you know, we're older, right? Are we? Yeah, we are older. But um, there's been a whole thing where like older people blame the younger people for being sensitive. But it's... Nah, this sounds true, bro. Like, this legit. Not 100%, though, because I get a lot I get a lot of motherfuckers that are like fucking 30-year-olds that are still Like fucking, this guy right here with his pizza? You think like, he's hurt? That, <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a beefy guy right there, bro. You see that shit? He, he got like, like fucking... <laughs> Like four cheeks on that motherfucker. Nah, that other day, that was that quadruple cheek, bro. That shit was crazy. This fucking guy. Yo, quadruple cheeks is crazy. And they tried to hide it, bro. And it was but, like, nah, you're not hiding nothing. That shit was wild. But still, um, the, oh yeah, about being soft and shit. Well, I, I think, you know, what it is, like, um, I don't know. I think just all the people are jumping on that. I'm a victim, sort of like mentality, and it's 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 a little it's a little weird because it's like how how you can't still have your shit together, like you know, or or why are you still fucking crying about things that happened to you like ten, fifteen years ago? Like get the fuck out of here, you know? Like I'm a victim too, bro. I'm a victim of being ugly, bro. It's fucking, I gotta yeah. live with this shit. Like I can't change my. You see, face. but you set you settled with it, and other people don't. Other people want to jump on that. Oh, I I do play the victim part sometimes, bro. <laughs> I'm like I know it's because I'm ugly and fat. This fucking guy, <laughs> you know. I lost seventy pounds, bro. You but did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spent. I I I lost seventy pounds. You took a shit right this morning. No, motherfucker. <laughs> fucking um, drinking water, but even so, like I still felt I I didn't have yo. Like I wasn't like oh my god I'm fat like I don't I, you know shit I had to struggle with my pants a lot but I don't give a fuck bro like I still had the confidence of a. Yo. Of a movie star. I still have it, you know. It's like he got a fucking complex. Nah, not even. He bro. thinks he's the fucking. The, I, he I, thinks he's the fucking Mexican. <laughs> rap, bro. I am the Mexican rap, pit, bro. Fuck that. But hold on, bro. I do want to know this because I've been fat, like fat, almost like two eighty, right? I yeah, think I, that's not fat, bro. I think all fat people do this one thing, bro. What is it? When you take your fucking man boobs and pop them together. This fucking guy. When you in the shower. You know, on the low, low. <laughs> on the low, low. You talk this shit. To, like, fuck it. Nah. Ain't nobody looking. But now everybody knows. But I'm not saying I do. I'm it's just throwing guy. it out there. Nah, I don't know As that a chubby shit. dude, bro, if y'all want to try that shit, go ahead, B. But going with the whole Mexican Brad Pitt, this is more like the fucking chubby Danny Trejo, bro. This fucking guy. If you see this dude, bro, and he had long hair. Yo, that was that was a vibe, bro. I wish I I still had long hair. Yo, he had long hair. I used to think I used to be like, yo, Danny Trejo, bro. This fucking guy. And like machete, machete, eh, eh, machete. But yo, bro, you can't tell me you don't look like Danny Trejo, bro. Nah, well maybe a little bit. A know. little bit? You don't think so? I mean, I don't got that acne going on yeah, in the cheek, acne, you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. That shit is fearful, bro. That is fearful, bro. That shit is fearful, yo. Those pores, bro. But, just talking about that. Is that from cigarettes? I think that's from cigarettes. I don't know, bro. I think that's from cigarettes. You I gotta see, look it up. You gotta I see look some motherfuckers up. from cigarettes. But anyhow, you know, like I don't know, like I I've seen a lot of like the youth right now, like 
20 year olds like they're doing their thing and some of them ain't victims you know what i'm saying like they're not sensitive like that like if anything they dealt with more trauma um than other people and i think it's like i don't know like i can't blame well, them you would know you around them i'm around them so like i'm around a lot of them so like i don't really a lot of them are doing better stuff than old, like like 30 year olds or mid 30 year olds and it's so like, you're saying millennials are the problem i think millennials are the problem you know millennials are actually the problem there's it's almost like they're entitled it's not so much that they're playing victims or they're sensitive they're entitled so when they don't get their shit so you're telling me you was feeling me maybe a little <laughs> bit a little bit you look you're looking sexy with that gray beard you know <laughs> damn i couldn't even get the line right right I got him good. I got him good. It got me good. But um, but yeah, bro. And it's just like, I don't know. Like it, it's, I like people, but I like watching people from a distance better because it's like you can't get in trouble. Not even, not even. It's just like I think I I, I hate people. Like, I hate now interacting hate with people. I hate interacting with people. I like people, but I like I hate it. It's a weird thing, bro. Fucking oxymoron over here, bro. It's how sway. It's almost like you ever seen the um, the uh, Disney Plus um, the cartoon the uh, the multiverse cartoon one or oh, the What If show on, yeah. on Disney Plus right yeah um, that the watcher is always watching but he never interacts when something's gonna go down so you're a watcher I'm a watcher bro that so, shit don't sound right you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a watcher, so like, you know he's I like I like I like watching people, but at the same he's time just, I don't like interacting with them. But he's just, a watcher. That shit don't I'm, sound right. I'm the, I'm the Mexican watcher. The Mexican watcher, bro. even worse, bro. That sounds like some fucking nickname if you was in the cartel. It's almost like the Mexican like those people watcher. that do uh, the safaris in Africa. You know, and so the, the National Geographic now time side type. You know, or it's like. You see the uh, the lions uh, trying to like kill uh, like a like a deer or or gazelle, and they tell you don't in- don't interrupt because that's nature's way of doing things. They're watchers, you feel me? Like they're watching things and they can't interact, and then they take pictures of that shit. Like how ironic is that? You feel me? So you know, because sometimes too people are just like people are just too stupid sometimes, and it's are like they? are they? Are they? <laughs> Yes, they are. I mean, we live in the fucking biggest city in the world, bro. Like, it's like crazy out here. Nah, we do live in New York. Yeah. And it's wild out here. You get me? So it's like, it, it's more like a jungle out here too, bro. Like, you see all the fucking, you know, all, you see motherfuckers acting like animals, you know, like all over the place. Like doing some dumb shit. <laughs> you know? There's a lot of that shit going on, bro. A lot. And that's what I'm saying, though. You know, you, you understand, like, this new generation is, is a little different and has similarities to other other um, generations, but I think this is the wildest one, you know? It's like, what the fuck? You have uh, a combination of um, back in the day when motherfuckers used to live off welfare and when they would go back to school, if, then, if those motherfuckers had, like, the best clothes, like, you knew they were on welfare. Because <laughs> people couldn't buy all that stuff, like, you know, off the rip. You know, or if motherfuckers were like dressed throughout the whole year, like you knew they were on welfare, and so like you now knew. all these kids are like, you know, they don't want to work. You know, older people don't want to work. Nobody wants to work, and so it's like, how y'all getting money? You know, like I don't scheme? get it. Huh? They on that scheme life? I guess that swipe of shit. You already know. Yo, these motherfuckers be thinking that, you know, they scam one little card, so a little credit card, and they're gonna get rich. You know, or they're. They're like one of those uh, African uh, scammers that you see Nigerian on YouTube. Prince. Oh, checked you know? up, bro. You know, and so it's like, it's, it's just funny. That's why I guess I can never get into drugs because it's like. So you're saying they're into drugs? No, I'm just saying like the mentality is stupid. <laughs> like they think it's uh they make a movie out of a one, one second uh, uh, Yo, experience. Let's not even get started on fucking trying to be a social media professional or trying to be a fucking rapper or a fucking R&B singer and shit. Yo, those are the worst. I know a nigga, though. I know a nigga, though. Let's not even talk about that (laughs) shit right now, bro. My man came in here. I Well, I came into the shop. He put me on to this kid. Um, Damn. Yeah, I ain't trying to mess with the kid's name, bro. What's his name? 
I'm not even gonna say it. Right? Not the other one. Which one? The Which? one that sounds like six nine. Oh, the uh, split happy. Yo, listening to this shit, right? I gotta say, the kid got talent. Be like, at the beginning, I was like, eh, eh. and like he could tell you, and I was like, yo, find out, homie's Mexican too. He's from Bushwick, so he's from around the way. So we over here trying to find out, you know, like, yo, homie, you from Bushwick and shit. We trying to find out, you know, who he knows and, you know what I mean, old heads and shit, being old and shit. But I don't know. He don't know. And the only reason I was, like, iffy about it because I'm like, yo, my man sound like 6'9", bro. But then he started rapping. He started doing his shit. And I was like, yo, you legit, bite. You really do. You know, you sound good and shit. Like, you got something going on. So... I got to give it up to Iz. He put me on to this. Then he put me on to like a bunch of like Mexican rappers and shit. Yo, the Mexican rap scene is, is, is whack out here, bro. Like I... No, I'm not talking about the scene out here, bro. <laughs> I'm not talking about out here. I'm talking about what they're doing in Mexico itself. Mexico like, is popping right now, especially like all those niggas from the, from the north side. But I think that... Um... I don't know, bro. I can't really get with it like a hundred percent. Like I like it, but I can't really get into it a hundred percent. Now nah, he's telling me, and in the car he's telling me, "Yo, bro, yo, bro." Yo, yo, nah, yo, I'm, I'm just, I'm just witnessing. You know, what he's saying? fucking like, over here giving me fucking Netflix documentary on fucking Mexican rappers and shit. Now it? we over here talking about like, yo, I didn't even like that, bro. Nah, you was just telling me I'm it was just like stating that. Stating a fact, bro. I'm just stating a fact, you know, cause my man, I was telling him, yo, bro. There's certain things I don't like, like this and that and shit, but I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm going I'm to listen to the lyrics. I'm like, some of them bars, is, you know, they go hard. But at this point right now, I need to find another genre of music because Corridos is not doing it, B. <laughs> Corridos, they starting to sound like mumble rap. It's like the first, the first three or four fucking intro with the string and shit. What is it? The Quinta? That's what it's called? The guitar, the sh- uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not that's that, some shit like that. So the guitar they use is a big one, multiple strings. I can't remember. I think it's like sixteen strings. I mean, uh, you know, you're you're not, you're more Americanized than I am. So like, I'm more familiar with like the terminology of of uh, the lyrics in the nah. sense. Yes, Just, I am, nigga. Yo, here bro, we go. Here bro. we go. So like, he's like, gonna look, tell look, me. Look, look. Hold on, hold on. Now he's gonna say, you know, I came through the border as an illegal immigrant. Nah, nah, I didn't. I saw him a real ground day and shit. You don't understand. Yo, shout out to people who who did that. I I yo, didn't. I flew yo, coach. Yo, bro, I flew coach, bro. So I can't even say nothing. That's what that. they say. <laughs> Allegedly, he flew coach. I flew coach, bro. Allegedly, I had papers. I came here in '86. Allegedly. I, I have papers, so, you know? Allegedly. I can't, That's what they all say from... I can't, I can't everybody relate. from the eggs, they say I'm they not, came I'm, here. You don't see me bleaching my fucking skin, bro, so I'm not trying to do one of those... Uh, he can't bleach it. He lost <laughs> He lost hair. <laughs> I, I can't... You know what they have, though? They have those new um, wigs that you can stick to your uh, baldness. Yeah, and you have, like, a, a full set of hair, bro. You gonna do it? I might do it. I want to see that. I might do it. Try to get the, the my long hair back again. The return of Danny Trejo, two point yep. Bro, it's I I know like, what like three white uh white tattoo artists who uh who do that. Bro, that's how I actually found out about them because they were promoting that shit and what? I was like, bro, it looks legit. You ever, they there was a commercial one time when um some dude was in and like jumping into the pool and he would get out and. Yeah, it was in Goodfellas. No, no, not even, bro. It was, bro. It was Goodfellas, It was a bro. commercial for, I forgot the name of that wig, but it looks legit, bro. And it stays on for, like, fucking months, bro. So that, that tattoo artist, um, he's from uh, Cortland, New York. He was like, he said something to the effect of, let's normalize men using wigs, right? At first I thought he was, you know, a little from the Rainbow Coalition, but then I figured I, f- I found out that he wasn't. And he was just he went bald, and you know he's one of those um, like emo punk rock, uh, uh, my chemical romance type of tattoo artist. And he's an older dude, bro. Um, Quite triple cheeked up. Triple cheeked up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, he is a he does have some cheeks, bro. You gotta check him out, bro. Damn, you bro. know I know I know that's your thing, bro. Yo, matter of so, fact, this episode that's what we're gonna call this episode. <laughs> 
The cheeks. <laughs> quadruple cheeked up. Quadruple cheeked up. If y'all don't know what quadruple cheeked up is a term that him and I came up with last week. We're not going to tell you what it was, but just know that. That shit sounds official. You, once you see it in the streets, you're going to Yo. be like... <laughs> Quadruple cheeked, cheeked up. up. You know what I'm And I'm, I'm not talking about like sloppy. I'm not talking about like stripper, like oversized, big butt. I'm talking about like, you see this shit, you be like, God damn, like how you got them perfect cheeks. Exactly. And, and like, then cheeks on cheeks. You're going to, once you word. see, once you see an example of that in the street, you're going to be like, that's what these motherfuckers was talking you're gonna, about. You're going to remember this shit. You'll be like, yo, quadruple cheeked up. Like, yo, that's a real thing. Like, psh. I'm not even talking about. They're not even hitting the gym yet. So. Bro, it's like a unicorn. You you just watch somebody walking like that. And you're gonna be like, Psh, you know? guy, man, woman, whatever the hell you are. If you got cheeks, I'm gonna give you credit for your cheeks. Fucking, Ain't yeah. no shame in my game, b. I'm gonna give you a dab if you let me come up and be like, yo, your cheeks is proper, b. Yo, I have no problem letting you know your cheeks is proper. No, I, don't, just, I don't know about doing that to a dude though, but you know, <laughs> your homie has to know, bro. What happens if? Yo, sometimes you got to let homies know they got nah, cheeks, B. Nah, bro. That's some A-O shit right there. Nah, fuck that, bro. Yo, I was watching the Dahmer show yesterday, bro. How's that? It's, I haven't got it's, onto it. It's crazy gay, bro. But, um, yeah, you need, a, you need to watch some porn after that shit because that shit is just like all over the Did place. Did he have cheeks? He has some cheeks, bro. See? He has some <laughs> cheeks. I got to say, the Dahmer show, like, yo... It's it's definitely um cheeks on cheeks cheeks on cheeks bro I like and that. um crazy shit but you know I I had to stop watching it because it was just like it was too cheeky it was too cheeky bro yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know did anybody clap them cheeks bro bro that shit was wild I was like holy shit like this motherfucker was oh talking about that um uh damn I'm gonna mess it up so. They had to remove that, bro. Which one? They had to remove um the Dahmer show? The no, the well the 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 Dahmer shit. The community is like, "Yo, can you take the label away from that?" What com- like what what label? The Rainbow Coalition was like, "Nah, we don't want that." But he was gay though. But they don't want it. They don't want They don't want that. You see, I always mess it up, so I'm sorry, guys. I know it's always L B G T I that's thank you, bro, cause I'ma mess it up. I, I grew up in the age was only L G B T. So it was only four letters. Now it's an additional <laughs> letter. That's the whole alphabet. But so I'm hey, sorry. Kudos to you, you know. Or, what I ain't trying to get at y'all, but yeah, so um I was just listening to this morning and stuff that they wanna remove. But they can't though, because that's that was the whole that's the whole um, but here's the thing, like you can't be mad. Like my man was a thug. No, he, he was a gangster. Like if you really think about, it, that's why I always yo people have always said it. Like I have my homie, right? I have one homie who I, I'm tight with, right? Here we go with the homie. <laughs> with my the homie. I ain't. I'm not homophobic because I got a gay friend type of shit. <laughs> no, no, but he, he, that's my homie. Yo, I know my homie's listening to this. He knows him. Yo, he got cheeks, bro. Like my man got. Yo, bro, when I say cheeks, he used to put on his jeans. I'm like, God damn. You should slap him afterwards or not? Nah. No, you probably no. did. You nah. probably did. I know you, bro. Nah. But, um, yo, when I say my man can rumble, bro. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. He, he can rumble and rumble at the same time, bro? Bro. Bro. Like, That's a talent, by the way. Right there, bro. Like, my man, you would be like, oh, I got him. Nah, bro. Like. I seen him a couple of times square up with people try to test his gangster, bro. Oh, for real, bro? They wasn't ready for the gangster, bro. <sighs> Yo, when my man switched to Switch B. That's crazy. No, nah, and that's the whole thing, too. Like, people think that, uh, you know, uh, gay people are soft. Nah. nah. They will fuck you up. They will fuck you that's up. A, so that's a, um, what's stop that? with that homophobic shit, you know, because that Word. shit, like, they will fucking... Put a nail in, in your eye or some shit. <laughs> Word, they'll fuck you up. They're like, literally yeah. like, yo. You ever seen that dude that was jumping like a, like a Power Ranger in uh, in the in the Instagram uh, videos? And he yeah. had like high heels and a crop top and he would do these fucking Power Ranger moves. And no, I was like, only, only ones I be seeing doing that is them Dominican, that Dominican guy who does that Goku shit. Who's that? Um, some little skinny dude. Uh, Rochi DR? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my man Rochi DR is funny, bro. 
He looks like Kodak, uh, Kodak Black and, and a Steve Urkel, bro. Like a little skinny, skinny version. Yeah. But, but yeah. he has a Steve Urkel sort of look to him, bro. Nah, he too. does, he does. Yeah. But yeah, man, so... Nah, but I was, uh, uh, you know, my boy, my boy. Oh, yeah, that's the word. Don't be, you know, you know, it's a misconception that people think just because, you know. Or even, even like, um, you know, like lesbians, like, don't think they're soft, you know. Like, they oh, will fuck you up. Well. You know, a lot of them up. are doing, like, MMA type of uh, UFC uh, training. Like, don't, don't go around be the homophobic and shit. They will Yo. fuck you up. Shout out to my, to, um, to the lioness. Y'all already know who's that in the UFC. She's the queen, yo. She bad, bro. Is she the one from Bushwick? There's one that's from Bushwick. What, in the UFC? Mm-hmm. Nah, Lioness is the one from um from Brazil. I'll tell you right now. Oh, who? Uh, um, uh, didn't she get beat, though? It don't matter if she got beat. She got beat, though, bro. She got beat bad. She got beat by the Spanish chick. By the Mexican chick, right? She wasn't. She was Venezuelan. Nah, she... No, yes. she's Mexican-Venezuelan. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Is that Mexican? Amanda Nunes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She got beat, bro. No, she didn't, bro. Bro, she got beat. She was scared. She, she was... The other shorty was like, I'm going to beat you. You know I'm going to beat you. You scared of me. And she just she lost to her. They had a rematch and she lost by... Who um, lost? The lioness? No. Or the other one? Uh, the other one. I haven't caught up by with decision. it. Bro. By decision. By decision. By decision. By decision. Hmm. I remember Nunez yeah. got rock. She's not Mexican. Time. She's Venezuelan. The, the, she goes by the Venezuelan vixen. Oh, yeah? Peña. Well, she's from Cali, I think, so. It doesn't. So everybody from Cali is fucking Mexican. That's it. You're Mexican. You eat some tacos, you Mexican. Fuck that. Yo. If you can tell me what birria is, and you're not Mexican, you I'm, Mexican now. Fuck that. I'm not Mexican. That's it, bro. If you can tell me... Queso cotija, what queso cotija is, bro? You Mexican. You see, I told you you was Americanized, bro. What is that? You eating too much uh, Caribbean food out there in your crib, bro. Yo, and she's actually from Washington State, bro. Pena. Washington State is California. Are you fucking serious right now, bro? It is. Washington State is California. It is California. You fucking just said that. Where is it at? Washington State, bro. This I'm going to bring up the fucking map. Bro. That's in California, bro. Where? It's above California. Oh, my God, bro. It's California, and then it's at the tip. It's Washington State. Yo, my man just said Washington is California. Yo. Yo, I was I was doing this, right? I, I saw, I was watching, uh, let me cut you off. I was watching uh, Instagram yesterday, and... Did you hear that that sh- that that girl that lady uh, Rachel Dolezal had no. an OnlyFans? She's the lady that. Uh, so I'm showing him. Bro, that's in California, bro. How the fuck is that California, bro? That's right there. It's like one state away. It's California, bro. Don't tell it's me. two states away. <laughs> it's by California. So what? You know? Yo, but my they, man. But they talk like that, though. They talk like, like they, they're they Mexicans. They talk like that. Yeah, they talk like they're Mexicans. Mexicans, Mexicans are Mexicans. everywhere. When I went to Spain, the Mexicans was out there, bro. We're, we're all over the place, bro. We're everywhere. We're like little roaches. How you think they got there? How? On a boat. On a boat or on an airplane? On a plane. I think no. on an airplane. You think they got uh, kidnapped and taken over there? Yeah, no comment. <laughs> so, um... That lady who, who, that white lady who pretended to be white, um, who, what's her name? Rachel Dolezal. She, mm-hmm. uh, her OnlyFans pics got le- leaked. Yeah. What? Yeah, it got leaked, and um, Rachel Dolezal. So I was trying to find like, uh, what the fuck they were talking about, bro, and it's just like, just a lot of weird poses and shit like that. What? Like, it wasn't even like attractive. It was just, it was just weird. She pretended to be Spanish. What type of Spanish? No, no. She pre- she pretended to be black. She identifies as black, but uh-huh. she's white. She's always but been. Why white. you say Spanish? Did I say Spanish? Yes, you did. My bad, bro. But she pretended to be uh, black. She still she still identifies as black. Well, you can't stop her, bro. No, you can't stop her. But she. Oh. But... Yeah. That's kind of creepy, bro. That is kind of creepy. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, who would pay for that? Apparently, she has subscribers. She buzzed me making cake, right? Ew. Cheek on cheek? Nah, ain't no cheeks on this, bro. Nah, she got some cheeks on huh? 
I don't know. Some weird looking cheeks, but you know. Nah, you know what? All cheeks matter, right? I guess. <sighs> Yo, people don't people play too much, bro. Yo, that's what I'm, t- that's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like, Shorty was like, she even got into the. Um, she was the head of a black college. Was she? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah, that's you know. That shit was crazy because she was there for a couple of years. Yo, like, I always wanted to start her OnlyFans, but you got to put, I think, your social and shit in a bank account. You can't, because that's how you get paid. I don't want my government out there with my with my OnlyFans. This guy. You know what I mean? That don't sound right. Damn, how you know this? Because it showed up on Instagram and somebody had posted it. Oh, that's why I'm like, how the fuck did we end up on this shit? And I was like, what the Yo. fuck? Yo. The other one too. Which one? We're gonna you see, yo guys, when me and him have a talk, this is literally how we talk sometimes and shit. Like we be all around and shit. We have to touch base. I'm one of my favorite characters growing up. Are teaming up to be fucking double cheeked up. Actually they when they join forces they're gonna be quadruple cheeked up. Who's this? You probably know who I'm talking about. It's a yellow man and a red one. I'm gonna give him a couple of seconds. He's gonna hit him. It's a gonna, yellow man? A yellow outfit uh-huh. and a red outfit. And both of them wear black in their outfits. I don't know, huh? How you don't know, bro? I don't know. Damn, bro. How you don't know, bro? I don't know. Is one of the fucking biggest. When it comes down to comic books, they the fucking like. They the big dogs. You said. And they both wear black. Mm-hmm. They have yellow. They wear yellow and one wears red. And mm-hmm. both of them in their outfits have black in it. What, Superman and, and Batman? Who wears... All right, out of those two idiots, who wears yellow? Oh, oh, yeah. They do wear yellow. Oh, uh, yeah. No, and then blue. I, I didn't say blue. No, but you said black. Superman has a black on. Yeah, but then the other persons wear red and black. Spider-Man? That's blue, fool. I don't know. Just tell me. Who is it? Fucking, the movie was the first Marvel movie to go rated R. And you was just watching that shit, bro. I thought it would have been fresh in your mind. and you the Blade? Fuck. This fucking guy, bro. I bet you when I say it, he's going to be like, oh. Which one? Which one? Fucking Deadpool. Uh... And Wolverine, bro. You're not hype? I'm not hype. Cause I'm Why? Not a, cause I'm not a dick rider. Like, oh, bro. How's like, that a dick rider, bro? That, that, bro, they could have done way better jobs with uh with fucking Deadpool. And, nah, uh, no, no. Nah. How's, it, nah, nah. How's this a dick rider move, bro? Because I'm a fan of Wolverine way before this whole Marvel shit. I'm talking about, you're talking about comic book days where I fucking actually gave this motherfucker a crazy deal on some comic books I gave him for free. Bro, I, I remember that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a college, I'm a, I'm a comic nerd, bro. Like, they could have, like, they were. I'm the, not the, a comic nerd the, the, to the his Deadpool, level. The Deadpool movies were good. They were, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front, but they, for me personally, they, eh, I'm not hyped. I'm not hyped. You're not hyped. I feel like Marvel's been fucking up left and right with all the, uh, all the movies that they came out. Specifically, all this, um, what the Disney series? No, some of the Disney series are, are dope. Yo. She Hawk is whack though. If you like She Hawk out there, you know, like I can't talk to me. I like She Hawk. She She Hawk. She a shit. bad bitch, bro. Nah. You Yo, know, all right, all right. Would you Would you take that? Down? No, no, no. You wouldn't take She Hawk no, down, bro. Nah. I, I I know that actress. I don't like that actress. That she. Who? Um, the actress who plays She Hawk. They're watering it down. I feel like it could have been better. So she, I'm talking about She Hawk. She Hawk. I'm not talking about the actress itself. I'm talking about She Hawk. Well, I mean, I, the CGI nah, She Hawk. Nah, I, I ain't like the. I ain't like it. I ain't like she the looks she too. Is. She looks too manly. She looks too butch. She, nah, the, the CGI is just like. The CGI is whack, though. I'm not going to front. It's whack. That's is what I'm bad. talking about, you know? So it's like. But being Disney or Disney, step your game up. That CGI is bad. It's really bad. Yo. Yo. Yo, I just got to tell you. I was watching that shit, and somebody's like, yo, is that CGI? And. That that looked like the like the fucking two thousand like the early two thousand CGI. That shit know? looked like the fucking baby from what's that fucking show that had the baby dancing? And that shit was like 
Damn, you know what I'm talking about. Boss Baby or some shit like no, that? No, bro. The fucking show in the 2000s or 90s. That had oh, a yeah, yeah, yeah. CG, that's the first time CGI was ever used on a show. And it was on that show. Yeah, nah. That's just... That's you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yo, these kids don't know. But that was the first time CGI was ever used. It was the little baby dancing and shit. That stuff was wild. Damn, bro. bro. What is that show called? What's the show called, bro? I don't know. How you don't know? But I, I do know what you're talking about. I just don't remember. Anything. How you don't, see? I'm all the shit, bro. So, you know. Things start to fade, but... Do they? Yeah. Damn, bro. I can't believe this guy is really playing me right now. Bro, once you... When I started doing tattoos, like it's like almost I had to uh, update my memory. Oh, cause... Ali McBeal. The TV show was called Ali McBeal. They didn't Ali... have no, 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 no... Yes, it was here, bro. Look at it. Alec McBeal is the one that had the baby dancing. And the shit was on Fox, if I'm not mistaken. But you see, Ali McBeal, the show was was fire. I, I, feel, I feel like Ali McBeal could have been done. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh now he remembers his yeah, fucking old Who remembers Ali McBeal, bro? What what year did Alec McBeal come That's out? This is like late 90s, uh, early 2000s, I believe. I was right, though. Yeah. 1996. See? So the CGI Disney's using right now is from fucking 1996. They could have done way better, bro. On top of that shit, then we have the other news, since my man's not fucking interested in Wolverine vs. Deadpool. I'm not, I'm just not. Que se joda, coño, because he already got me mad and shit, he got me talking lingo. Bro, that shit is whack, bro. Like, so. I'm not, I'm, he should, they should have put out that movie like fucking years ago, bro. I don't know what the fuck happened. Yo, the next one would have to be, um,. Fucking how Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto fucking... Um, Are they going to do a movie about They that? leaked it. They leaked some scenes in the fucking for Grand Theft Auto 6. And and, I'm more excited about that. And then the feds are after the people who fucking... Who leaked it, bro. Allegedly, it was some 16-year-old kid, bro. How the fuck he get his hands on that shit? Fucking maybe fucking Rockstar didn't have a... Well... Fucking secured system and shit that the sixteen year old was able to get his shit from there. And on top of that, the big news, right? I want to touch on mm-hmm. is in um, Mississippi. Is it Minneapolis, mm-hmm. Memphis, with the whole robbery that people stole the Jordans? You heard about that? No. So people stole Jordans off of trucks, bro, mm-hmm. that were lined up in um, Memphis. Mm-hmm. So a couple of rare Jordans that were fucking um, supposed to be released for Christmas, there's these um, Jordan 11s that are called Cherry mm-hmm. that they fucking ended up, I think, on Stock X, and Stock X ended up pulling them shits because this shits don't even drop till December, bro. Oh, shit. And Stock X had them? Yeah, mad people, bro. This shit happened. Uh, yeah, you see, cancel, uh, StockX canceled sales of Cherry Air Jordan 11s. And I think this was supposed to be the Christmas drop. Because mm-hmm. Jordan always dropping um, mm. 11s. Jordan 11s and shit on, um, on Christmas. So every December, you always get a brand new pair of Concourse. Okay. And they have another pair. Of these Jordan 4s, cement 4s, mm-hmm. that are also were on the truck. So, yo, guys, I'm going to let y'all know, on the low low, I have no problem purchasing your stolen sneakers from Memphis. But I'm not going to pay you retail or near retail. However, you're in this tri-state area. Hit me up. I'll meet you, but we only meeting in the, inside the precinct. I ain't fucking meeting you outside. I ain't mean you around the corner from... No, we're going inside the precinct. And we're going to do our exchange and our transaction inside the precinct. And mm-hmm. yes, you can do a transaction in the precinct with no issues. As long as it's not over $600 or $10,000. So, For real? Yep. Oh, so you sure. can't get in trouble. So if people try to stick you up, you stay in the precinct. You tell the officer you're just waiting for the person to van moose. <laughs> you stay in the precinct for a good 10 minutes and then you leave. Yeah, there'd be motherfuckers that would still don't care, bro. They would try to, you know, run up on that. You're going to run up on the precinct, bro. Bro, there's stupid motherfuckers out there. Well, you're going to have to get... And don't forget, guys, New York State is a concealed state now. 
It is a concealed state, and you are in the precinct. So in the precinct, I'm pretty sure if you have a gun permit, they're more than happy to let you use your concealed weapon, as long as you let them know. Yo, are people now, like, uh, allowed to... Uh... Yo, bro, the whole concealed shit is... Yes, there's people walking among us right now with their concealed weapon. That's a little crazy, though, bro. There is mad people walking around right now. With the people before the um the Supreme Court ruling, right? So I think it was um September 1st, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. The whole new rules came upon that we could carry our weapon, right? So let's say your business, right? But we're not allowed to have weapons, though, are we? Yeah. yeah. We are allowed to carry our weapon, our gun. As long as you have a permit, a concealed permit, you're allowed to have it. So with that said, a lot of businesses now in New York have to state in front of their door or their establishment that this is a gun-free zone. So if somebody comes inside your establishment with a gun and you didn't have that sign, then you can't say nothing. Mm. But you have to have a sign that says no, no guns allowed. Same thing with um, Times Square. Times Square, the whole area is uh, a no. guns, uh, gun-free zone and shit. So. Wow. Transit as well, but they don't have a sign. But still, yeah. I don't know. That's, that's a little too crazy, especially from New York. Because all these dumb motherfuckers are, well, are doing dumb shit, you know? Well, bro, if somebody comes up to you and you have your concealed weapon, you have the right to bear arms, why not? You're an American. I mean, bro. I get it, but like, uh, it somebody, doesn't matter, like, bro. You, if, if it's so easily accessible, it's your American you know right. Oh, so criminals go and be like, "Excuse me, excuse me." No, no, but that's excuse me, I'm... gun range. But uh, and yeah. plus, half of the time, bro, most people who carry a gun illegally can't even shoot a gun. That most of the time they're shooting sideways, Yo, upside that, down, and that shit. Sideways shit is funny. Yo, shit, bro. it's like, bro, yeah. and then you're. The stupid shit is you're hitting innocent people, which is they the dumbest do, shit. They should do some uh, Olympics on, on that type of shooting, bro. See. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> see, how, see if they can hit a target or some shit, you know? All right, so there was a, a video going around about this old man. He was a um, retired police officer. And he draw his weapon, bro. Homie didn't know what to do. Yo, proper, bro. Two hands, straight, Who square. The, 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 the retired police officer popped out his gun, bro. Uh -huh. He was like, oh, nah, bro. I ain't being a victim. Popped out his his piece. Yeah. Shit. It, it went from 100 to zero, bro. The per, the perp got inside the train and decided to go. Oh, yeah? I mean, I guess we need that now because, like, we do need it, but at the same time, like, how many... Look, double-cheeked up over there, bro. Um, I guess it's one of those things where, like, um, innocent bystanders are always caught up in the in the mix. So, you know, that's, that's the concern, you feel me? Especially now, but... Um, shit, why not, you know? The same way cops can't shoot. You ever seen a cop shoot, bro? They also still, they stuck in belly, bro. They still think they in fucking belly in the nightclub. He said, they're stuck in belly, oh they're my god. They're stuck in belly, B. I'm like, yo, bro, and don't try to go to the gun. Yeah, because when I went to, um, for the application. You apply for it? In Bushwick, they have a, they have a gun range in there, you know Wait, that, right? I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah? In yeah. Bushwick? Yeah. Well, it's border. It's like. Where? It's between, it's like Ridgewood and Bushwick, bro. Okay. There's a gun range inside and shit, like, like fucking, like, you wouldn't know. <laughs> like, you probably walk through this shit, like, What type of targets do they have? Do they have, uh, um, did you hear about that, uh, I don't know where it was, but it was like, uh, I think it, uh, some cops were putting pictures of perps, of African-American perps. What? Uh, as targets, and they were shooting at them. I think, and, 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 and Hispanics, too. What? <laughs> that shit was crazy. I saw that shit on, um, on Instagram. I was like, no way. Yeah, bro. Like, shit is crazy with these uh, white folk out there, you know? like He means folks, okay? He means folks. <laughs> yeah. Bro, it just... Slip it just, of the tongue, B. Slip no, of the fuck tongue. that. You know, I don't know. Like, um, even here, like... In Bay Ridge, where we're at, like, the white folk out here, they're, they're a little out there. They're a little out there. Like, even amongst each other, bro, they fight so bad. It's like, yeah. yeah. You know, Greeks don't like Italians. Italians don't like Greeks. Still? You know? Still. I thought that shit was done with, bro. Mm -hmm. It's 2022, bite. And uh, throw in the hybrid mix. If they're, like, Greek-Italian, they'll, they'll probably be more Greek than Italian. And, yeah, it's, it's some crazy what? shit. Yeah, I've seen some wild shit out here, bro. That's why I'm like... You know, I, I stayed a race, you know, that's why. But it's like, wow. That's so. why he says he's American. You see that shit, um, right? <laughs> America. 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 Um, and, I, bro, 
even like the Hispanics that are more on the lighter side who think they're 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 like Trumpers and shit. Like, they are Trumpers, as a matter of fact. Do you know any Trumpers? I know a whole bunch of Trumpers. Bro. You were? I do. Bro. Unfortunately, there are paisas. Yeah, hell yeah. Bro, a lot of them are actually um, family members of like uh, police officers. Bro, I know at least a good twenty Trumpers, closely related, bro. It sucks, but you know. Let me you? guess. Nah, let me not say nothing about that. I'll ask you off air because yeah. we well, don't need the feds knocking. Talking about <laughs> FBI. Because <laughs> it's crazy because they still looking for these people, bro. So the feds here be like, oh, who, who's that? Who he said? Who are they looking for? The Trumpers or? Yeah, the Trumpers that went on January 6th. Oh, the ones that are on the Capitol there. Hill. That's some shit, too. Like, how you do that? Like, how the fuck you do that? How, how you allow motherfuckers to do let's, that let's just know the reality is if it would have been one shade darker bro they it would have been, been a they massacre would've, they would have been popped it would have been no questions asked and you know? shit it would have been literally it would have been China what was that guy who did who did the Chinese dirty Mao 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 it would have been fucking Mao in the US January 6th it would have been a little darker let's not even forget what was the march when people started marching with their guns and and they um and the feds took out the um national guard? I forgot. But know, you know what I'm talking about, I know, right? I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there was it a was like mass Spanish and black people went and armed themselves and started. Was it Juneteenth? No. No, 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 something else. It was some some other. What, it was like a, May Day? I don't know, bro. I think it might have been May Day, bro. I I don't know what it was, but I know they took out. The big boys. They took out the National Guard with tanks and everything. But where was that same energy for January 6th? True. It wasn't there. That's me. I don't know. You know, that's me. (laughs) White folk, bro. You know? I I can't say nothing, bro. I plead the fifth. You know? It's like... My man went in there, stormed in, looking like a Native American with a fucking... uh, A bullhorn hat. You know, looking like this uh, uh, indigenous dude, right? You saw that dude. That shit didn't make any sense when you really think about exactly. it. Exactly, he was, was like... he was fully white, and you know, he was like full redneck. You know, you saw his redneck, and my man had war paint on. Like he was ready, bro. He was he, he was, was ready. You know, he, he was fighting for the trail of tears, bro. I, I guess I don't he know. He was he was fighting for the, the trailer, trailer tribe. Tears. You saw him, right? You saw him. Saw My him man there. had the whole Indian costume with him, and it's like, what the fuck? Like he he was in the wrong and, one. And, and you know what? Because he had that redneck, he didn't get shot. He didn't get put down. You know, he didn't get put down. They saw it. You know, that's like a mark. You know, like you they had them them rednecks, and boom, that's it. That's the that's the badge of honor, right? There. Word. That is you ever, wild. You ever seen like a, a contractor at a construction site? Like, those motherfuckers be having rednecks. Like, that's, that's some crazy shit, bro. You know? That is some crazy shit, bro. You know? And you see them bossing people around. You know, they have those um those sunglasses that look like the Oakley ones with the fucking shiny oil-looking thing. I said, yo, you know, that's that's a redneck right there. You know? That's business right there. When you see those Oakley that's glasses just, pop out, bro, yo, and bro. you see the reflection, you can see <laughs> yourself in there. And the, uh, the yeah, that's it, bro. Just it's know. Not- just know. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. That's it. You're you know? about to get fucked up. Yeah. You're about to get your your wages uh, taken <laughs> from you. You know. Damn, bro. I had a good one when it comes down to wages, but I ain't gonna talk about that shit. Cause if I talk about that shit, next thing you know, my whole, my yep. whole, my whole channel, my whole fucking. They gonna come after you. They gonna come after me and shit. You already know who I'm talking about, bro. This <laughs> guy. Bro, I don't understand. I don't understand how, how people get paid so little. When it comes down to working at diners and restaurants, and the tip is included as part of their wage, I don't. I've, I've never understood. I mean, I, now I know why they do that. Yeah, cause uh, but the business takes a part. But here's the thing: that's why I don't tip. I don't tip on the receipt. I always tip them cash. I give them the money. But well, that's the whole thing. Like I was like, I think this year I found out how it works. And I I think that's just like explain to the people how it works. Well, essentially, like, um, what was it? Uh, it has to. It, it goes back to the eighteen hundred, um, nineteen thirties, I believe. Um, that's as much as I I can remember right now. Okay, I'm going, I'm drawing a blank, but I do know that 
you know, uh, because uh, the, the house would have them, like, live on the side of the restaurant or something like that. It had to do with something like that. Um, where they were, uh, you know, they were giving shelter. And so, like, they they got, you know, the t- they got paid a minimum. And then the tips would be a part of their salary. You know, but that, that shit should be discontinued. Because that's, like, slavery, bro. How motherfuckers want to try, try to play you $7 an hour at, at this time? Because that's what they do now. Like, they'll be like, oh, we're going to pay you $10 and then tips. Like, no, like, tips should be... You know, separate. Like, you should get your $15, $19 an hour. And fucking restaurants make mad bread. Like, I don't get it, you know? I just went to fucking um, the San Gennaro Festival. I wasted almost 3000 I mean, uh, $300 on two plates of pasta and a pizza, bro. And two sangrias. What? Yeah. What the fuck? Exactly. Who exactly. you went with? Uh, I went with my wife, so. Oh. But... <laughs> Bro, the, all the, right, the, it, it, it don't matter because he said he went with his wife, but not even, even, not even, not even it was on like, a date, bro. Bro, three hundred, almost three hundred dollars. You know what you could have got for three hundred dollars, bro? I could have cooked for you, bro. That's what I'm saying, though. I could have got you some good. You get me? I could have made you some wagyu, some nah, fucking bro. lobster I tail. I would have ate some fucking uh, ramen, cup of noodle soup, bro. Like that shit was wild. Like three hundred dollars. I mean, I could pay it, but like, see, sí, coño. Yo, bro, I was like. Nah, that never, shit is wild, B. Never again, you know. Never man? again. Never again. Never bro. again. You know, so I, I left a good. I mean, they charge gratuity now, so it's like, what the oh, fuck? Oh no, nah, they can't charge gratuity. Yeah. But you know, I was like, Jesus Christ, yo. But without further, you you finished drinking your coffee? Um, yeah. You but did? I gotta go to the bathroom right now, though. So pause it, bro. We're gonna take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Yo, and without further ado, we fucking back, B. And back. I took a, a mean shit, yo, because I ate a, a big ass bagel. So, you know, a triple <laughs> triple stacked up uh, bagel. Yeah, he just took a, what is it? Quadruple, quadruple cheeked up shit. But um, with that said, today we're going to try something new. We're going to close off the show with something refreshing, something that we talked about at the beginning of the show. My man over here looking like Danny Trejo. And we're about to drink the nectar of the Mexican gods, right? And with that said, also, we're drinking today a, a beer that Danny Trejo actually had a participation with. So if you're in L.A. and California and you're listening to this, go to one of his spots, you know what I mean? And he has a couple of restaurants out there and shit. And, you know, give it a try and shit. Once um, we pop this shit open, we'll let you know how it goes because from what I saw... He has it on tap at his restaurants. So we're about to pop open a, a can, which is one pint. It's um, 4.7 volume by alcohol. It's a Mexican lager style beer. In the back it says, born in Mexico, brewed in the USA. God bless America. I just added that part. America. And also, with that said, are you ready, Papa? I'm ready. I'm ready, ready. I'm ready, Freddy. So thank you, Lincoln Brew Beer Company and Trejo, bro. Hopefully your shit is good, bro. And don't worry, guys. I'll do a full review on the Brew Host podcast uh, soon. I picked up these joints in Total Wines in Westbury. So, you know, if you're looking for this beer, please go out to Westbury in Long Island. Total Wines, hooked it up. Let them know. Chill. Oh, shit, I forgot to do the whole thing. Oh, well. Do what? I forgot to... um. Let a candle and uh, burn some incense. Yeah, and... bro. And I forgot to do that. When I pop it open, I always like to put it in front of the mic and go... So just do the sound effect yourself. <laughs> Yo, it looks mad funny, right? Because we're fucking drinking this out of fucking little cups. My man don't got regular sized cups over here and shit. So we're think about to try the Danny Trejo joint, aka Big Izzy. Yeah. Danny Trejo. He got us some bread in here. Damn, we don't even you see if he had his camera that took pictures and shit, but it's not even proper to be drinking out this fucking little cup. These cups are the ones you when you go to the doctor's office and you're trying to get free water and shit. That's what the fuck we're drinking this beer out of. So we might end up with some wax. So we might end up with extra flavors in here. 
Not even. It's a, it's a good it's a good club. Yo, this shit has mad foam. It, you know what? It actually. What it smells like, bro? It smells kind of good though. I ain't it smells sulfury, like sm- citrusy. It smells better than fucking Corona, right? It, For me, I don't like Corona. You know what smell is like, bro? It smells like a fucking old English. No, it smells like um. You don't gonna tell me it don't smell like old English? No, nah, it smells like something else. You ready? Alright, three, two, one. one. Cheers. Not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's refreshing. It, it. This is literally a fucking. Well, Mexico is fucking type of hot in the in the daytime. So this is a. It's, it's ref- like a like a lighter modelo. I don't know. It's refreshing though. It is refreshing. It don't taste bad. What's like, the percentage of alcohol? Four point seven, bro. It's like a fucking Malta to us. Malta Goya, el refresco lager, del momento yeah. es para ti. Yeah. Well, so the notes you're supposed to pick up are in the back of the can. You see it? What right there. It's like wheat, right? It's a malt. Yeah. That's what the notes you're supposed to pick up on. I do pick up the rice. It Funny. It does kind of like a hint of like sake towards somewhere in like the mist at the start. And give it a good swirl, and you get like a little sake, bro. Yeah, right. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, right? Which is funny. A little bit. I ain't gonna front, but it's not honestly, bro. I ain't gonna front. I thought it was gonna be traki, bro. I thought it was gonna be traki. No, it's good. It has a it has a sweet taste to it too. Now that yo, know, his fridge ain't really you know. No, nah, it's a it's a good fridge, bro. You put it up there. Oh, fuck out of here, bro. His fridge ain't fucking freeze like make it cold, cold. So we're actually getting flavor, flavor from the beer. Because if you guys know, you drink a little bit room temperature beer, you're gonna pick up more um more flavor from it than if you were just gonna um drink um cold, 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 cold tends to hide a lot of um flavor from the beer. It's good. It's good, right? It's good. Would you fucking buy a case of this? Hell yeah. Yeah. This is almost like the Trader Joe's, um, Trader Jose's, uh, beer. You ever try that shit? Bro, don't sleep. My man you. say Trader Jose. Anybody who knows about Trader Joe's knows about the, um, the Trader Jose's cerveza. It's pretty good. I ain't gonna front. Trader Joe's be having some, they be, they be hitting. And be having some gems and shit in their shop. You don't want no more, bro? No, no. I have tattoo, bro. Yeah. <laughs> bro, that's not alcohol. Okay, you might be a fucking drinking one beer, one beer fucking. These motherfuckers want me to black out on, on 4%. Like, get out of here, bro. It's 4%. <laughs> how you going to black out on 4%? You know how people be, though, bro. You never know. Ain't nobody going to. F- the drink. shop is closed, bro. It's fucking 12 o'clock at night. It's not, it's not that late, bro. Come on. Bro, it's good though. I ain't got a friend. It is good. Fuck. Honestly, bro, I really had low expectations for this. Nah, nah. I, I did. I did. It's my chat, bro. I actually want to try some of his, uh, some of his um, donuts and tacos. I heard his stuff is really good. After having this beer, mm-hmm. I'm gonna agree with you, bro. I would actually be more than happy. Than to have some of his food because a lot of times when artists or celebrities make a collaboration with like a brewery or food or anything of that sort, even clothing, it'd be ass. It'd be ass. It'd be ass, be. Yo, he's he's making fucking moves, bro. My man. Is- the only other guy who 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 should be who should he should he should have competition with. God damn, bro! All that shit on the mic. You saw that though, right? All that, that shit was off my... just like the, the the two little cups that I drank from this shit, bro. Yo, but with that said, it's disgusting, B. I'm disgusting, bro. Hey, yo, I'm going to have to bleep that out. Nah, don't worry about it. Somebody's going to fucking complain about that. Oh, my God. They don't want to be fucking censored and shit, and they're going to play that little part and shit 20 years from now. Bro, that shit was good, though. Nah, this shit was good. 
Yo, Danny Trejo, Lincoln Brewery, Lincoln Beer Company. Yeah, I did a phenomenal job. I ain't even gonna, like, the can, the display and shit. Is... This is brewed out here in, like, New York. Nah, like... bro, that shit is um, brewed in, um, look in the back, Point, West Point, I think, something, Where's Wyoming. That? Oh, shit, okay. Uh, yeah. That's for some. Yeah, it's actually really, really good. Yeah, it's really good. I ain't in a front, like, I ain't even, yo, so, in brew holes, we do a scale from one to five. What would you rate this? And there's bottles. I do feel a little buzz, though. Are you fucking serious? Like bro? a little, I mean, I'm a lightweight now, so, you know. A lightweight. My man's 300 pounds. <laughs> and he just had a little cup, which probably is equivalent of, uh, give or take, about uh, two ounces. That's that's like a two-ounce cup, right? It's good, though. But it, 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 it creeps up on you a little bit. Uh, here we go. He's just trying to give Trejo a little bit more credit than Duke, but um, no, no, it has a sweet good. taste to it, though, also. Fuck around. You know what you else? Like a six pack, it'll get you. It fucking reminds me of like a good sticky rice, like some sushi rice. It has like a sushi taste to it, too. This is why I, I've loved doing. It says Munich type one malt, flaked rice, flaked maize, magnum hops. That's what it is. Is the Magnum? Yeah. They had you at Magnum? They had me at Magnum, bro. Hey, yo. At Magnum Hops. Yeah, I had him at Magnum Hops. No, this is good, bro. This is good. Yeah. 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 I really fucked with this. It's heavy. Yeah, so, but that shit said, any any closing thoughts, bro? We talked about a lot of shit. We all, we all think we always talk a lot of shit, and it's always we random. Were, we were subtle with it uh, this time. The first time around, we were talking shit, shit, mm. shit, shit. But overall, you know, if you're a hater and you're reporting uh, things to people, fuck you, bro. Jump over, jump off a bridge or some shit. Don't be a dick. But um, overall, and go try some Trejo Cerveza. That shit is fire. You know, get yourself a little lit. Stop being a hater, you know. Don't report nothing. You know? You know why? Because I'm going to start reporting your ass. This motherfucker. Uh, you know? If you see me post up uh, some coochie pics, don't report them. Let them rock. Let them rock, bro. Let them rock. Free the nipple. And with that said, don't forget, guys. Quadruple cheeked up. Quadruple cheeked up. You're going to see it in person. And you're going to think about it. And you're going to be like, oh, shit. Look at them cheeks. Look at them cheeks. Men, women, it don't matter what it is. You're going to see them cheeks. It don't matter. You got to give it credit what credit is the one. It's some, some Fat Albert type of... Nah, Fat Albert had white ass cheeks, bro. Those don't count, bro. I'm <laughs> talking about like nah. cheeks, cheeks. That motherfucker has some cheeks on him, bro. Nah. Yo, but you know. Nah, bro. Nah. It's, uh, but nah. it's, it's in that sense, you know. It's in that aspect of quadruple uh, cheeks. Damn, who's a, who has a quadruple cheek though? Nah would be relevant so people understand what I'm talking about like quadruple cheeked up before I leave this who Nick, has Nicki Minaj? Nick, nah Nicki. Nicki Minaj don't got it that's still Delicious remember that girl Delicious from um, from uh, Flavor of Love? Yeah Flavor Yo, of Love Yes that's... Yes Delicious from Flavor of Love I must admit you see it wasn't big but it was... It was nice. It was nice. That's a quadruple cheek. Like, you see something like that in the streets walking, you're like, oh... That's what it is. That's what it is. Because if you see it in real life, you're going to be like, hey, like, how, Sway? How? <laughs> and guess what? Sway does have the answers. He does have the answers. So Kanye was fucking wrong. He had them all the time. I still love it. <laughs>